despite having some pretty exciting games in development, Capcom only had one game ready for the launch of the Nintendo 3DS. As it turns out, they only needed one. This is Super Street Fighter IV 3D Edition, and congratulations Capcom, you've just won the award for Best 3DS Launch Title. Unfortunately, Capcom couldn't be here to accept the award, but according to a prepared statement, they would like thank Blanca! You win! As with most games that have subtitles with the word edition in them, this is not an all-new release. Super Street Fighter 4 was originally released in April of 2010 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and this is the aptly titled 3D edition of that game. Oh, what's interesting though is this doesn't feel like a downgrade. The latest edition of Capcom's legendary fighting series arrives on Nintendo's newest portable largely intact. All the important stuff that made Super Street Fighter 4 such a great game has also made the jump into 3D, and the game plays as well as ever. Of course, if you've never played a Street Fighter game, I mean, where have you been? The series has come to define its genre over the last quarter century bringing fighters from arcades into massive mainstream success and then remaining relevant long after their popularity decline. When it comes to fighters, it just doesn't get much better than Street Fighter. And when it comes to Street Fighter, it doesn't get much better than Super Street Fighter 4. This is a great game on any platform, and on the 3DS, you get the same content and the same fantastic gameplay in an all-new 3D perspective. Now, I'm not going to tell you the 3D effect has any kind of impact on the gameplay itself, uh, because it doesn't. But what it does do is add to the aesthetic charm of Super Street Fighter 4. To see a 2D fighter, one of gaming's most familiar archetypes, pop off the screen the way this game does, it just gives a fresh new look to something that, frankly, hasn't looked fresh or new since the early 90s. Now unfortunately, while the 3D effect does look very cool, it does come at a cost in Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. The smoothness of the animations slightly drops when the game runs in 3D, which gives that polished look a bit of a hit. Although, it's not quite an ultra combo hit or anything. Although it looks different, Super Street Fighter 4 doesn't play any different on the 3DS. You get the same refined fighting mechanics and all 35 playable characters. What I like about this version though, is that Capcom has made the game more accessible. There are two control schemes, Light and Pro, and if you play with the Light scheme, you can actually pull off Street Fighter's craziest combo attacks with a simple touch. There are buttons on the touch screen, swapping the complexity of prior Street Fighters for something a bit more streamlined. I mean, it's optional, of course, but if you ask me, it's an excellent addition that allows Super Street Fighter 4 to appeal to a much wider audience. Otherwise, this is largely the Super Street Fighter 4 you already know, only in a fantastic portable package. The online multiplayer works great, and although some online features were sacrificed, Capcom did throw in some nice local options, and even some Street Pass features, which include collectible character figurines. In a launch library criticized for lacking key titles, this one definitely fills the void. Capcom has not only brought Street Fighter to the handheld realm with impressive returns, but they've also given Nintendo's new system its best launch title with Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition.